President Trump left office, but he might still face legal challenges. Where does impeachment stand, and how do the pardons he issued last night affect that? I spoke with Bernadette Myler, Stanford law professor and constitutional law expert, for her insight. Thank you so much for joining us. It's day one of a new president. Uh, do you think anybody will still care what's going on with former President Trump now and the whole impeachment process? It seems like the temperature probably will be reduced in Washington following this inauguration. So uh, the uh, impeachment proceedings may be a, sh a sideshow, if anything. I think probably uh, Congress is going to be more focused on Biden's plan to deal with COVID and all of the other uh, plans that he has in the works. If the trial does not go forward, are there other legal avenues Congress could take to bar President Trump from holding uh, office again? Yes, yeah, so there's a really interesting alternative, which is that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment bars people who have committed insurrection uh, from holding future office. Now, I think there are some worries uh, in Congress that if that provision were used, which it hasn't been since Reconstruction uh, after the Civil War, if that provision were used, it might wind up being used politically and barring uh, more members from holding office for political reasons. So there's some concern about using that provision. President Trump uh, had a very busy last day. Not a surprise. We expected pardons. Anything that surprised you? No, I expected some of the pardons that he had issued. He issued pardons of uh, Steve Bannon and others who were accused of political corruption. Um, that's consistent with some of the pardons that he had issued already in the past. Um, one thing he didn't do was pardon himself, uh, which a lot of people had been wondering uh, throughout his presidency whether he would actually do. I think that the likelihood of that became less as impeachment proceedings geared up because if he had pardoned himself, he probably wouldn't be able to take the Fifth Amendment uh, in, uh, in terms of self-incrimination during any impeachment trial. So I think that might be another reason for not uh, having pardoned himself. Wow, that's so interesting. Uh, that was a good tidbit of information. Before I let you go, let's just talk about what, uh, what uh, we just heard now. The lawmakers now dividing their day to get stuff done. They have to deal with the global pandemic. Uh, people pass another stimulus package because so many people are out of work and struggling. And then also nominating um, members of Biden's cabinet. Uh, it's going to be, uh, what, what do you see in the near future? I mean, this is kind of unprecedented. It's going to be very busy right off, right out of the gate. It's going to be extremely busy. And I do hope that Biden does maximize the impact of the first 100 days because, uh, you know, it's possible after two years, he won't have the support of the Senate anymore. I think that he needs to really take advantage of having both houses at this point, especially with respect to, say, judicial nominees, where Trump has been so successful at really putting judges on a whole bunch of circuit courts, as well as obviously the Supreme Court and district courts. So I think Biden needs to um, really accelerate the pace uh, quickly on that as well. Okay, thank you so much.